Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable the new widgets features in Windows 11 build 25324, the latest build for the Canary channel. So in this build, we have at least three new features related to the widgets board. We have a new widgets board UI with three rows on the main interface of the widgets board. Also, we have a new animated icon for the widgets button and we can also have a different alignment for the widgets icon which can be placed at the right side of the task bar near the system tray. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all that. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to download Vive Tool, the latest version, because we need Vive Tool in order to enable these hidden features. Just go ahead and download the latest version .zip, the second link, or for ARM64 if you want that. We're going to have the download link in the article below in the video's description. You can just open it up with File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into the system 32 location in this PC, local disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to system 32, select the folder, click on extract. In this case, I'm going to have to replace the files and click on continue for Vive tool to be completely set up on this computer. Now we're going to have to open up the CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator and on user account control, of course, click on yes. I'm going to run three different commands one by one, but you need to note that using Vive tool, you can also run a single command with multiple ID variables in order to enable multiple IDs at once. But for this video, I'm just going to enable them one by one so I can explain easier a certain command or ID enables. First of all, we have this command 5 tool slash enable slash ID 42934589. This is the ID that enables the animated widgets icon. A big shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter for discovering this ID. You can go ahead and follow him from the link in the pinned comment. And if you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, you can move on to the next command. All the commands that I'm using in this video will be listed down below in the article. The next command is this one, vive tool slash enable slash ID 43214488. This command will enable the right alignment for the widgets icon. And if you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, you're good to go. And for the new widgets UI, first of all, before running the needed command, we're going to have to open up the Microsoft Store to update the web experience pack because you need the latest version of the web experience pack in order to be able to test that out. And for this process and ID, big shout out to Alba Core on Twitter. You're also going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below because he discovered this ID. Click on get updates inside library in the Microsoft Store and everything should be updated and then you can run the command that I'm going to show you in a few seconds. After you've done that, just copy the command vive tool slash enable slash ad 43028164, press enter and if you receive the message successfully set feature configuration, make sure to exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now after the restart, what you'll be able to notice, first of all, the new widgets UI that has three rows of widgets, one, two, three, and here of course you can personalize it, use the third party widgets or the predefined widgets that you want to think this is an interesting idea, at least for when we will have more third party widgets that we can use and those will be more useful. Another thing that we've enabled is the new animated widgets icon. If we hover over the widgets icon, you're going to notice that we have an animation now and this will differ depending on the weather. If you change the location to different regions inside the weather widget, you're going to get different widgets animations. And also if you right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings and then go to taskbar behaviors and from the taskbar alignment, you select left you're going to notice that the widgets icon will be moved to the right side. This is also a new feature that we've enabled using those commands. So basically, these are the new features, the new UI, the new animated widgets icon, and also the new right alignment for the widgets icon. These are some of the new features that you can encounter in the latest build from the Canary channel for the widgets section. Don't forget that the down link and also the commands used in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. As you manage from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.